you know, in my day, a tosser was a really good cricketer. Bomb meant actual bomb. Language is changing all the time. I've come here to get to the bottom, or rather, booty of it, and meet Christmas shoppers in the season of goodwill. Get out of the way, you twat. Here I am with uh, three examples of wonderful British youth. <laughs> One of them's eating, we'll ignore that. I'm looking at the way slang has changed, how language has changed. <laughs> and it's changed so much I'm not making any sense, am I? Are you all on drugs? <laughs> Are you on drugs? <laughs> For example, yeah, if I thought he was ugly, I'd say, oh, he's yeah, your buzz, buzz, yeah, Well, you know, yeah. don't say yeah. that. It would be very, very cruel, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you want to agree with someone, yeah. like, instead of saying in it, you can say like a lie or something like that. A lie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Are there examples of slang becoming mainstream? Well, they can do. Let's take, for example, Polari, which was the private code in the 1960s among the gay community. And there, for example, Crimper is now is, is the hairdresser, which is what it meant. And um, likewise, Glossies would now mean magazine. Language changes and things, you know, mean different things. I mean, I, for example, if I said to my dad at 18, I'm going to go bumming around Europe, he'd have phoned the police. To have a gay time. Yeah, well, yeah, you, your word's not mine. Are there any words, maybe, that you think that, um, you know, you've forgotten the original meaning of uh, manners, hard work and respect spring to mind? Respect your elders, yeah, we say that. So that's that the boy isn't it? respecting his elders. Get out! <laughs> well, you're not buff, shang off! <laughs> it's part of the English vernacular to, to always adopt words from abroad. This is how English has survived. It's been had quite a fragile time, and it's always looked at um, ad hoc or feng shui or yeah. kindergarten. It's always it's always brought these words into its vernacular. Say la vie. Say la vie as well. Ikea. Ikea. Sven Goran Eriksson. <laughs> Chicken tikka masala. <laughs> we could just call each other oh, a shabby tit face. Tit face. Yeah. No, I knew a man who actually, well, before medical advances, had actually face. had a tit on his face. Nice. So there you have it. Just remains me to say, Happy Christmas, Martin, you shit sack dingle merchant. This is Barry from Watford saying, Safe out. <laughs>